back again, as usual. Um, bearish market, people are not interested in crypto. There's a cycle. It will get over soon because the market is down. People are like, well, crypto is going down. And it's interesting. Now, what kind of crypto is going on? Is it Bitcoin or the other alternative currencies? You understand? So, um, so if you're new to this channel, my name is Sel Nupa, a former server moderator and also a consultant for the best trading script out there. Market Cypher is by far one of the best trading scripts. It gives you insight into the very direction of the assets that you're trying to trade. It simplifies trading, makes trading very simple. Now, you do have a well also a well audited um academy with um good traders all over the world that you can book a session and um you can also have a consultation with them so today's video let's deal with um simple strategies um and tra trading strategies or long game scenarios using market cipher so let's let's basically look for i wouldn't say a perfect long and easy one thing about trading is is it, ha it always has to be simplified you don't really have to stress yourself much when it comes to trading and, and especially if you're new to trading um i will probably recommend you sticking to this strategy simple strategy and um keep it simple don't don't rush it takes time for your brain to literally familiarize itself with a very algorithm or the very script or market cipher script it takes a while um so if if you're new just stick to the fundamentals yeah two kinds of oscillators i'm looking at um we have two most important ones i have the momentum and i have the money flow momentum is a force money is liquid and we all know about liquid liquid is like the the the, the blood of every asset every asset is backed by a liquid so i could have probably entered along from the side looking at the scenario here let, let me move up drawings and um all right so Enter a long from this side here, and in using that long, it will go up, up. Momentum surges up all the time, so so look how momentum. Moves. So it moves up here from this side, this green side. This bottom goes up. Let's see what happens to price. So from this side here, it went upwards. So twenty one thousand to twenty four thousand. That's that's probably a decent long. And you could realize that money was in the positive territory, so momentum also went up high as well to get out with money as well. So money was in the positive territories, momentum was also in the positive territory. So you could have probably held on to your long from this side, held on to this long to momentum crosses a 60 line and corrects downwards. So once it corrects, sorry, once it crosses the 60 line, there's always going to be a correction, right? So you could have also entered a shot from the side. And you could realize that money was also dipping down into the negative territories. So what happened to the momentum? Momentum was coming down. So as money flow as well came into the negative territories. Let's see what happened to price. Price also declined. You could realize that we saw a bearish sign here. So let's see from 24,000 back to let's say 22,000. So entry one here, long here, long from this side, long. And shot from the side. So let me see. I'm on a four hour time frame. So, so long and short, simple ones here. Yeah. You could have probably made a decent gain here just from these entries, long gain and short in scenarios, just these side, right? Just these side. So let's look for another long gain scenarios. Let's go here. All right. So another long gain scenario here. We registered. A green dot we cross this line and it went upwards right so momentum went upwards so let's see what happened to price price started surging upwards from the side the side to the side so from 19,000 to 23,000 that's a decent long right so basically these are basic strategies using market cipher simple strategies let's see another long in scenarios let's see if we could see probably another long in scenario here all right cool another one here another one let's see so enter along here green dots momentum surges up 
So you get out what money flow as well. Money also went into the positive territories whilst momentum was building or gathering strength into the positive territory. So let's see what happened to price from this side to the other side. So from 28,000 to 31,000. Then let's see what happened to momentum after it registered a red dot here and came down into the negative territories back. So you can realize the money was also coming down. Let's see what happened to price from 31,000 to 29,000. So it's like you can long with momentum and also short as well with momentum. These are just simple basic strategies. If you're new to market cipher and you don't really know much about it, stick to you. stick to the principles, right? Anything that goes up comes down, especially with a momentum wave. Once it goes up, it crosses exist line, regardless of how long it stays there, it still crosses and comes down. It goes up from the side, it comes down back again. So moments there are moments whereby it might not probably go into the positive territories. You can still long from the side, hold on to this long. It didn't probably enter the positive territories, came down. You could have probably exited the short this long sorry took a shot here if you're not comfortable just let's say wait for momentum cross the six line because we already know once it crosses the overbought territories there's always going to be a correction you could have or probably also held on to that long shot sorry that shot into the negative territories then realize the money was also entering the positive territories so look look what happened you could have probably entered an along here then probably enjoy that long so it's like and let's see what happens here. After there was after momentum was in the positive territories for a while, we registered another red dot shot from the side because money was also declining into the negative territories. Long and short stories, momentum is always going to go up and come down. Try and always take advantage once it crosses this oversold territories and the overbought territories. Try and also always take advantage. Once we are here, we already know momentum will probably go up. So enter along here, hold on to that long, mm, enjoy a ride. And if it doesn't go up, still hold on to it till it goes into the positive, positive territories. Right now, I don't know where money is going. Probably I'm, I'm seeing good signs. If money enters here, momentum might probably sustain here for a while before it comes down. But if you're not comfortable, wait for momentum to come down here again and long. You understand anything that goes up comes down anything that goes down goes up so let's trade the ups and down because we have three price action scenarios up down then consolidate nobody trades in the consolidation region it's harder it's very hard so just trade the ups and down the positive and the negative keep it simple people so until then have a nice time